Hello everyone, Shayfire here, and welcome to another Monster Hunter Rise of Boss Bite. Today we are going after the Basil Goose, or Basil Juice, or B-52 Bomber, whatever you want to call it. There's like no official pronunciation as far as I can tell, so everyone calls it something different. But it turns out after slaying the... Narwa, I didn't actually have to do anything else to unlock a Basel Hunt. It's just in the list now, so I'm gonna do that. However, it didn't take me very long to get up to rank 20, which unlocked the Camellios, not Narwa. So it seems like Narwa, you don't unlock the final fight with her until Hunter rank 50. So our next hunt will be for Camellios, who I don't really know much about. It's an old Elder Dragon from, like, Monster Hunter 2. So we're using the Rajang armor still because I don't have a better one yet, and I figure I just wait until we get one of the Elder Dragons to make their armor. I'm not really sure what we should use for weapons either because Mazel Goose does not have a weakness, I don't think. So it means we want to use either a non-elemental weapon or something with a status effect. I don't know if it has any resistances, so I don't know if I want to use this Fire Blade. And I don't really have any good status effect ones, so... hmm. Yeah, I've kind of been making only elemental weapons because most monsters have a weakness. Can't use Blast Blight against him because it is his status effect, so... hmm. I should have made a new weapon before I did this video, but it's too late now. I mean, if I use the status effect one, I think it just means that the status effect won't trigger. I don't think it'll do less damage. I was looking at the damage on these. Well, I could use these. The problem with those ones, though, is that they have a low sharpness. You can see it only goes up to green because, you know, they're just blocks of ice. You know what, let's go with the Mitsuzune Blade for now. I'm pretty sure it's not resistant to water. And since it doesn't have an element, we don't need to get a elemental defense, but we will get these two and then... Hmm. Still don't really have a definite third one. There's no, like, status effect resistance dango yet. I guess I'll just go with Weakener. So Basil Goose is a monster that was, I guess, first introduced in Monster Hunter World, and I did fight it there a decent number of times, so I am familiar with what it does. Nature is a battlefield, steeped in crimson dust. And I've certainly run into it plenty of times in this game already, since it loves to invade every hunt. Combat summons those who lust. He's like, oh, you're fighting down there? Gotta get involved. Fiery violence and something to combust. And that's why they call him the B-52 Bomber. I do really like it as a monster though, both its design and just kind of generally its mechanics. Someone decided they would take a pangolin and combine it with a dragon, and then also decided that its scales would be explosive, and it would use itself as like a giant igniter. Because basically, when it's not enraged, it will just constantly drop scales, and those scales don't just blow up, 
until you either hit them or he hits them. So he does this thing where he just slams his body into the ground from flying and like ignites all of the scales that he passes. But once he's enraged, his scales will automatically detonate. Also, the thing that I forgot when I was talking about Hellblight versus Blast Blight is that Blast Blight goes off after like 10 seconds or something when you have it, so you have to get rid of it. Whereas I don't think Hellblight ever detonates on its own unless you get hit. So our target's gonna be up there in 10, since it's the only one I don't have identified, even though I keep running into it. I guess until you actually fight a monster, it will keep showing up as a question mark, even if you've seen it multiple times. He also has a really good combat track. It's like, it sounds very much like the kind of battle theme you would hear in a kaiju movie. Looks useful. I mean, I guess it showed up in at least one of the other videos, so I can't remember if the track played. I like that once you get to this point in the game, though, basically every new monster you encounter has its own unique battle theme. Okay, I don't remember how to get up from down here. Oh, well, that'll probably get me out of here. I was just trying to do... <laughs> I was trying to click the stick to get off of the dog like you would with Torrent. Still mixing up my Elden Ring controls. Alright. Also, Basil Goose is huge. Like, it's one of the largest monsters you encounter up to this point. Which is the other reason it's called the B-52 Bomber, because, of course, the B-52 was a massive bomber of the Strato Fortress. Oh, okay. I stopped looking at the map, and now he's over there. <laughs> So I don't think he should be too difficult, but he has a couple attacks that can probably wipe most of your health. Also, he has the ability to shoot fire, but he does it almost never, so I never expect it when it does happen. There it is. It's actually kind of a small basil goose, this one. Very distinct roar as well. So yeah, you can see he just constantly drops these scales. And if you accidentally hit them with your weapon, it will set them off. Or if he slams to the ground or something like that to trigger them. And unfortunately, unlike Magnamalo's Hellblight, you can't use it against him. He is immune to the explosions. I might have to rely more on Spirit Blade than counters, because he doesn't really do a lot of just, like, swinging attacks. Ooh. Also gotta be wor <laughs> worried about set out on fire like that. Slashed right into that explosion. I think I actually forgot to equip 
my extra uh, quick sheath. Because I have two of them equipped, but I finally made a third one so that I can max it out. Alright, I think he's going to be enraged now. He also seems to make the exact same buzzing sound as Moreau from Resident Evil Village. Like, I guess it's just somewhere in the Capcom sound library because it's the exact same sound as when Moreau does his big puke and then comes down. He does this, like, almost electronic sound. Lucky life. Those are usually worth grabbing because it gives you like double money or extra drops. Uh, it is over here somewhere. It shows up on the map when you get close to one. There it is. Fortune Owl, so now I will get more money. I did not have enough charge there. No, now he's enraged. Now he's glowing. Which means he's probably going to do one of these big bombing runs. I think he might also confer a larger explosion radius on his scales when he's enraged. It seems like they are exploding in a larger radius right now. It's kind of funny too that you can't actually put yourself out by standing in water when you're on fire. It just doesn't count. But yeah, you can see how he just uses his like head and tail as a big flint to set off his explosives. to get close to him when he's enraged. I think he takes extra damage though if you hit him in his glowing bits. So they don't detonate, but they do still hurt him more as a trade-off. Keep attacking! Wasn't sure if he's gonna do the bombing, but no, he's just flying away. Seems a little more touchy than I expected. Like I'm not really doing that much damage to him. I like the way this sword looks too when it's fully charged. Kind of like pinkish red. I like how even when he does the roar, scales fall off. I think I broke his wing there.
I also like that he's so tall that his tail goes right over your head if you're standing under it. That actually knocked him down. <laughs> I don't even think this is a fully upgraded Mitsuzune sword either. I think I need one piece from like the Apex Mitsuzune. I haven't really done any of the Apex fights except for one that I shouldn't have done. It turns out there is like these emergency versions of the Apex fights, which to explain it, the Apexes themselves are just buffed versions of the regular monsters, and I guess in the emergency ones, they're even more buffed ones that do like 60% more damage than the regular Apexes. So I did that, and I'm like, wow, Apexes seem super ridiculously strong when the Zenogre fucking annihilated me. Turns out you're not really supposed to do that one until you have, like, endgame gear. But still... Doing the Apex fights means you have a 3% chance of the drop you need to max out that weapon tree instead of a like 2% chance for the regular version. So it's really not worth that much more. I guess because his head's broken, he fucked up there and couldn't do a fireball. It's not a 100% chance, I don't think, of preventing them from using the move, but it is a good chance. He's gone back to the desert. An excellent opportunity. So this might be a pretty short fight, because it seems like he's already hurting pretty bad. But again, he's not an Elder Dragon, so he's not going to be as strong as some of the other stuff we're going to be fighting. Leading up to Valstrox. I accidentally just flash bombed in there because there was a flash bug. <laughs> Fell into a sand trap. I actually forgot those were a thing. I don't know what that glowing thing is that was on my hand. I've started noticing that in recent hunts, and I think it must be something I equipped, but I'm not sure what. Still got him. Again, still got him, but kind of fucked myself there. Maybe Blast Blight is not something he does anymore, because I have yet to be afflicted with it. I know it's in the game, because the Magdamalo weapon does Blast Blight, so... It seems weird that they... Okay, now he's doing his big bombing move. So he goes back and forth a few times, drops a bunch of scales, and then he comes in for a landing.
stunned him because I did enough of those air attacks. Not really much we can do here, just slam him into some of these pillars. Okay, never mind. We're too far away from the wall. That's interesting. So he does actually fireball those scales to set them off in a pattern. I want to get a good counter on him, but really he's gone again. I say I want to get a good counter on him, but he doesn't really have a lot of attacks where he just comes at you. Fuck off, fish. <laughs> I've definitely been knocked around by these fish before when trying to fight a monster. Well, I didn't go very far. We're back where we started. I wonder why they took away his blast blight, though, considering that was one of his main things. Maybe they thought it would be too similar to Magnamalo if they kept it? Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be worth making a weapon out of him, because Heostra is also in this game, and it also produces blast blight weapons, so I think the blast blight Heostra weapon is probably better. Okay, I wasn't sure if I got the counter there, but it knocked him down, so I did. I think if you hack at his legs enough, he will actually fall over kind of regularly. Thanks for the support. Too slow. But it still wasted my counter meter by doing that. Getting a lot of free potions here with that skill I have equipped. Okay, I didn't blow myself up that time. Those are the kind of moves that the Superman dive is built for. It's just things that do big AoE, and you just need to get away from them. Is he really leaving again? God damn. Does a lot of running away for someone who does a lot of invading. I mean, to chase them all over the map. The 
looks useful. Broke something else. Didn't even see what I hit. Like, that would have been a good attack to counter with the big counter. Three hundred fifteen. Pretty good hit. Wonderful work, man. He's really getting beaten up here with these breaks. And then one of the dinosaurs knocked me down. These are called Rampardos. He's like. Pachycephalosoids. Or pachycephaloids, I guess, if you're saying that they're like a pachycephalosaurus. There we go, 400 damage, even better. And done. That seemed like a pretty short one. He's a cool monster, he's just not actually that tough. Despite how late he shows up. Because even in the original game, he doesn't show up until like halfway through high rank. Can't remember what kind of armor he makes either. It's probably exactly the same armor as in Monster Hunter World, but I don't know if I ever made Basil Goose armor. So I can't remember if it's like the, the Dover armor or whatever. But yeah, just a just a cool boy with some shiny explodey scales. I shall put this to good use. And another example of the like throw a dart at two boards, one with regular animals and one with mythological animals, and then combine them. And you get pangolin and dragon. The only thing he's missing is like little arms hanging down as he runs around. Twenty two minutes, definitely shorter than the last few. I got everything you need. So let's see, is there a basil goose tree? Yeah. Pretty much the same sword. This one I actually did use in World for blast damage. Uh, it's got an affinity down here, but it's an okay trade-off for the explosive damage. I can almost make it already. No, no, I need a fuse for the first level. But I think this one right here is Teostra, and that should be better. And I think Teostra is not even that far off from being unlocked. Sometimes it's hard to choose. Looking for something new or an upgrade? I don't know. I do kind of remember this armor now. This Damascus one is kind of interesting too. I mean, not so much in gold since I have the uh, color customized right now, but... Yeah, I kind of like the look of that one. It looks like very much like it would be a Elden Ring armor set with the floppy bits. That, of course, will clip through everything, including your weapon and itself. On offer. You've got all the time in the world. Graphics may have come a long there. way, but we still can't do things like prevent cloth from clipping because it uses up too many resources to calculate that.
Not a bad one for them. I gotta replace their armor again. Uh, actually, I kind of like the Ibushi one, though. Let's see. Ooh, but that's pretty good, too. Kind of leonine. I don't ever really look at the stats for <laughs> the buddy armor, because, I don't know, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Some people say you should never use anything except a paralysis weapon for your buddies, because, you know, then they'll trigger paralysis occasionally on the monster, but, eh. I like that he says, here's one guild ticket, and then he gave me five. All right, yeah, so the next one will be Chameleos, and then I think I have to get to HR 30 to unlock the next one, and then HR 40, and then HR 50. And then after HR 50, it's all the way up to 100 before you unlock the Ball Strikes, which is our ultimate goal of this sort of series of boss fights. But until the next one, you folks all take care.